Hey, what's happening? Oxford here, and welcome back to another tutorial video. Uh, so listen, in this video, we're gonna be going over the ever so popular uh, seamless co-op mod for Elden Ring. We're gonna go over how to install this, and then if you keep watching the video, I'm gonna let you in a little secret for you ultra-wide users out there coupled with this mod all right before we get into the meat and potatoes of this video if you can please do me a huge favor and hit that like button and consider subscribing if you dig my energy i'm a brand new gaming channel i started back in late february 2022 trying my best to get some content content out for you guys on the channel all right here we go let's go ahead and get into this where do we go first uh the first place you want to go to is nexus mods and then you're going to look for the elden ring area now i've already done this uh, i've taken you to the site um, chances are a seamless co-op mod is going to be on the front page of the nexus mods and if i remember uh, after the video i'll drop a link in the description box so you can just click that link it'll take you straight here from here you're going to click on the seamless co-op mod scroll down just a little bit before you do that i just remembered make sure that you are signed in to Nexus mods. If you don't sign in, you can't download. Uh, if any of you know of a way to download without signing in, let me know. But regardless, make sure you sign in Nexus mods before you start your downloading. Go ahead and scroll down on the Seamless Co-op page. Uh, you're gonna have a description page here filled with really detailed instructions about the mod from the creators themselves. Really, really good stuff to read. Uh, next up is the files tab, the very, very important files tab, which is we're going to stop here on the files tab. You'll notice, and I've actually noticed this already. This mod has already been updated. I want to say twice now since launch. Um, and here we are now today's date for me, I'm in America's time zone is June the 1st. And you can see here, it says June the 2nd, and we already have 1.1.0. I want to be sure to make a note here. This is still in beta. I have tried this on my streams, on YouTube stream that is, and there are some issues. So just be mindful of that, that this mod is still in its crawl phase, if you wanna call it that, it is in beta. So what do we do from here? Make sure that you click on the big orange button at the bottom that says manual download. You'll click that. Once you've signed in, it'll ask for a fast download for those of you that are paying members of Nexus Mod's website, or click on slow download. I've actually already downloaded this, so we're gonna go ahead and minimize this. I'll take you over to the other window that I have right here. Now, what does it look like when you download? It's gonna be this zip file called Seamless Co-op Beta and the version number. You're gonna drop this in the directory of where you installed Elden Ring. So for Steam users out there, it's the typical spot, right? So it's gonna be Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Elden Ring, and then a folder called Game. Okay, open that up. It's gonna bring into the directory what you see now on screen. Now here is the zipped file. Now what I did is I right clicked this, I said extract all, no judging from me using WinRAR, <laughs> let the jokes pour on in. Uh, and I'm gonna go and extract all here. And so what this does is it drops this folder right here. It's literally the same name as the zip file. Now when you open this folder up, the contents that lies within that folder are these two here the seamless co-op folder, and then the actual launcher. Now, what I do is I take these, I highlight them, hit control X, or if you don't like using hotkeys, right click and cut these out of that folder. Come back to the original directory where Elden Ring is installed. Simply paste those two items in this directory by hitting control V to paste. I'm gonna go ahead and replace what I've done. And what you're gonna see is the seamless co-op folder here, coupled with the separate launcher from the Elden Ring launcher. Very, very important that I mention this now. When you use this mod, you are not going to be firing up the game with the Elden Ring executable. This is a separate executable that is not using EAC. And when you double click this, it's already using administrative rights right out of the gate. It's already enabled, all right? Step number two, you're gonna open up the seamless co-op folder. In this folder, you'll have a uh, DLL file and a configuration settings file. Now, what you'll want to do, and this is very, very important if you want co-op to work with your friends, you're going to open up the co-op password configuration file like so. It's going to bring this up that looks like this. If you look at the very last section, it says co-op password and an equal sign. 
you're going to simply left click right next to the equal sign and you're going to type in your password, blah, 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 whatever you want. Make sure that you hit control S or file save to make sure that's saved. Close that out, close this out. And then if you want, you can even close this window out here. That brings us back to the default uh, window here that I uh, closed out by accident. So go me. Let's go ahead and open this back up and get back into the directory. Okay, so the reason I wanted to stop there and mention the password piece is because you and all of your friends need to make sure that that same password is in the co-op password configuration file. All right, it has to be in there because this mod does not use the multiplayer system password system that's embedded in the vanilla game. It does not use that. And I can't stress that enough. You have to put the password in that configuration file. Sorry to beat a dead horse there, but please make sure your password is set in that file, not in the game, okay? Now, what are we gonna do next? We are actually going to fire up the game. Now, I did notice something. If you do not have Steam on, the game will not launch. The mod will not launch. So make sure that Steam is on and running in the background. And then your next step is to double click the launch underscore Elden underscore ring underscore seamless co-op. That's a mouthful, isn't it? That's when you can launch the game. If you don't have Steam running in the background, nothing will happen when you double click this executable. I did that just before I hit record. I'm like, why isn't it launching? You got to have Steam on and then this will launch, okay? So let's go ahead and fire up the game and see what it's like once you boot up the game with this mod. Okay, so here we are in the game after you've double clicked the seamless co-op mod executable. So a lot of this is going to look identical. However, when you click on press any button, you'll be greeted to a message from the developers that says the following. Welcome to the seamless co-op mod for Elden Ring. This is an early beta version of the mod. Cool, hit OK. Next message pops up. This mod uses a separate save, okay? This is separate from your main save file from the vanilla game, so keep that in mind. And does not connect to the matchmaking server, so no EAC. As it mentions here, it does not contain an anti-cheat. Now, the bottom right corner will show the version number, Seamless Co-op Mod version 1.1.0 beta. As of today, today's June 1st slash June 2nd, depending on where you are in the world. And then next up, you're gonna go ahead and either hit continue, load, or new game. Depending if you're a new user, you're gonna click on new game. Now what I wanna do is um, fire up the game and show you what it's like. Unfortunately, I don't have a friend to test this out, but I wanna go over a few cooperative items that you'll be looking for when you go into the game. So here we are in the game, and surprise you ultra wide users out there, you can use the ultra wide flawless widescreen mod in addition to the seamless co-op mod. How sick is that, right? Now, for those of you that don't know how to install the ultra wide mod, you're in luck. I actually have a tutorial guide on how to install the flawless widescreen ultra wide mod for Elden Ring here on my YouTube channel. Be sure to click the link above somewhere up here. I'm not sure when or where or how I'm going to put that up there, but click that link up there. That way you can, it'll take you straight to my installation guide on how to install the ultra wide mod and little friendly reminder, be sure to turn on flawless widescreen mod before you fire up the game. That step must be done in order for ultra wide to trigger. Okay, so enough about that. Watch the video on how to install. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so now that we're in the game for the mod, what do you do next? So if we go over, if you notice messages in multiplayer, first of all, are grayed out. All right, they're grayed out because these functions are not enabled in the mod. All right, that's why you can't set your password here. I just wanted to point that out. Let's go over to inventory. Now, if you scroll down, you're gonna notice one, two, three, and four new items the developer crafted, made in, in wonderful 2D art. And it does have some lore around it, which I found pretty awesome. The first one up is called Tiny Great Pot. It says the following, item for seamless online play, opens your world to wanderers. The Great Pot is always seeking capable warriors to add to its rank by revealing its symbol. Aspiring warriors will join you on your quest, awaiting their judgment. So this is the item that you will be using to invite players into your world. So if you're the host, use this item. Open your world to wanderers, yes or no, say yes. Animation looks like this. So now the 
invasion, not invasions, but the cooperative mod is in play. Now, let's say that you're not a host and you want to join your friend's game. How do you do that? Once your friend, once you and your friend have the same password saved in the configuration file, that must be done first. And then the host enables that item. You are then going to use the Effigy of Millennia. Let's go ahead and look at the 2D art there. It looks amazing. I'm so glad the the mod, the, the, the mods and the creators, the developers made the 2D art kind of fit the theme of the art in the game. I thought huge thumbs up for me. Anyways, item for seamless online play joins a world as a wanderer. Many warriors have looked up to Millennia as a symbol of ultimate strength. Her effigy containing a remnant of her scarlet rot will be drawn to those who seek powerful warriors. Pretty sick, right? So what do you do here? Simply click the button, hit A, whatever controller you're using or your keyboard, and then hit Use. Once you hit Use, the animation looks like this. It says I'm already in a party because I'm the host of my own party. However, if you're the one going to their world, it'll take you over with a load screen into their world instantly and you're going to end up spawning in their game right next to them in their game all right let's take a look at the other items okay this one here is called separation mist there's your 2d art items for seamless online play exits current session a tiny orb containing a thick freezing mist the aura given is cold and distant making every wanderer think of the long journey home now why do you need this item let me show you when you're ready to quit the game you're going to notice the quit icon at the bottom is grayed out. So how do you quit the game other than Alt F4? How do you quit the game properly? How do you save your file? Yada, 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 right? How do we do that? Well, you're gonna use this item right here. You're gonna simply select it, hit use, withdraw from this world, select yes, there's your animation for it. A lot of mist going everywhere, just like that. The thick mist uh, envelops your world. You are now alone, okay? Now let's see if the quit is there, and it is. So the quit game is right there. So be sure to use that item when you want to leave the session. All right. We have one more item to look at, and that is the Judicator's Rulebook. There's your awesome looking 2D art. I love that. It looks so good. Item for seamless online play makes friends enemies. So if you're in the co-op session and you want to do some PVP or some duels, guess what? You can. There's just no you know, ad hoc invasions that we all love, right? Wink, wink. I'm actually an invader. I'm not even going to lie. I miss the fact that invasions are not a part of this mod. I really do. I don't want to go on the topic of this separating the community. I have my opinions about it. Uh, do I love this mod? Yes, I do. Do I wish the actual game had this open worldness to it? Yes, I do. Uh, but that's a whole separate topic. I don't want to digress on that in this video. However, let's read some lore. Towering judicators once roamed this land, imbibing scorn between the denizens. You can feel it radiating from the tome. Will you dare open it? <laughs> I, love, I love it. So what do you do here? You simply hit use. Here's the animation for it. Nothing, look at the hands curve back. Nothing interesting happens, but I will tell you this. When you're in a co-op session, a message pops up that says PVE on, PVP on is when you use this. And all of a sudden your cooperative friends become enemies. You can now attack them. Okay, so just know that. So if you wanna do duels or set up somewhere using this mod with just a group of your folks, you can do so with this mod. Now, how do you disable that? Simple. Go back to the item, hit use again. It's going to say, would you like to disable this? Say yes. It'll turn off PVP, but keep on PVE. Pretty much PVE is on the entire time. So guys, that is it. That's going to do it for the installation guide. I really, really hope this guide was of use to you, including the item descriptions and how you use these items. And, uh, you know, I am excited that you can actually do this plus the ultra widescreen mod coupled with this mod. I think that's a, a best of both worlds in my opinion. So that's going to wrap up this video. If you found this video useful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing if you dig my energy.